Yeah. Especially like it's it's unfortunate because all my stuff that's hiding in the back is all fastball as well. Right, Abe, hey, what are you thinking? The bases are loaded, two men are out. It's the tying run at the plate. Paul Ware is there. He finds the center, struck out and top is short. Nolan Ryan is near the pitch. Get out, get it off! Here we are at the Mid-Atlantic Sports Card Show here in downtown Silver Spring. Ran into my buddy as soon as I walked in the door. Big shout out to my guy, Adam. Thank you. You want an autograph ticket? Uh, no, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Give it to a kid in line for me. Also ran into my guy Chris, on, Chris? over at I Baseball know, Car Collector, Investor Dealer. Always great to see him at the shows here in the DMV. So first table, we walk up to where we actually start to dig. Had a nice small little dollar box section. Good, how you doing, boss? Well, I like to go for it. Thank you. All football? Uh, some baseball, some baseball some like mostly football, but <laughs> we did find a couple of dollar cards out the break. First one was that Kyle Mueller uh, autograph rookie card. And then we also found a Seiya Suzuki numbered card as well out of Bowman. And left side's all dollar? This side's all dollar. This side's price is marked. Okay. Or, sorry, this stuff is just the dividers, and then these three are just top price tags. Yeah. But besides that, there's no any price tags or anything. Cool. Yeah. The big card that we find though here in the dollar section was Justin Herbert, numbered to 35. I couldn't believe my eyes actually. One, two, three, four, five. Appreciate it. Thank Appreciate you. you guys. Thank you. Can I just see the card? Thank you. Yeah, no worries, guys. Sorry about that. Now we're digging through a bunch of baseball boxes. They were separated by teams. One of the cards we put aside was on a Relvis Martinez Ray Wave. Uh, he's one of the top prospects for the Toronto Blue Jays. So put that card aside. All of these cards were $1 a piece. Uh, you could see we ended up buying, I think, uh, five cards. Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate yes, you, boss. Thank you. Have you a good one. Yes, you do. I'll be digging. Yeah. Thank you, bud. Yeah, take care. Here we found a interesting mix of baseball cards. It was, well, there were some other sports in there too, but I'm pretty sure most of what I looked through was baseball cards. It was really random as far as the cards that were mixed in there. I did pick up that Marco Luciano though, uh, really trying to buy some more Marco Luciano. I sold a lot of that stuff, uh, but I think that this is the year where he actually pops off. One of the cards that we did end up finding uh, in this box was a uh, Darrell Hernais first Bowman Gold Shimmer. Um, it, I couldn't find any comps on that card at all. Uh, I really like that kid out of uh, Oakland A's organization now, was with the Baltimore Orioles. Also picked up a warming Bernabelle autograph mojo uh, mega box auto. Uh, this is a couple of other cards in here that we pick up as well. It's a nice little selection. Nothing was priced though. Um, so it's kind of interesting how it was going to work out this deal. We picked up that Jordan Walker sky blue. Um, and there were some other cards that we added to this pile, but. 
Things got a little dicey when we went to uh, cash out here at the end. Uh, it, it does make things a little bit difficult sometimes when the cards aren't priced and then, you know, they're just like, just make a pile and, you know, we'll work with it from there because you really have no idea what direction they're going to be going in. You know, just back over this side, you don't have to wait in line. We'll take care of it. Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate because all my stuff that's hiding in the back is all fastball as well. Right, Abe, hey, what are you thinking? Yeah, it's like a $15 card. If I end up getting some cash, I can show my card. I'll bring it all from my bag. Okay. $100? Yep. Oh, Carney's finally good, so I might add it to my PC. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this super cheap. They extended him, man. That's because they have no one else to pay. They paid Kuzma. Well, I, mean, they, I think he'll be dealt though. He's actually they're gonna deal him in the offseason. Yeah, he's actually playing pretty good. I think yeah. Where are you at, like, uh, like expensive wise? What is your your value? In I think here? this guy and then the Pell. You got that for me. Okay, so if I take those out, what are we thinking? Make an offer. The transmit you. Is that something that you would want the auto graded separate? I mean, I'd be at uh, like twenty. So we did end up putting back um, the two cards and putting back those two cards made the difference between $100 for those eight cards to $20 for the six other cards. Without a 49? Box was crazy. All of these cards were dollars, a bunch of Bowman in there. I had saw a lady looking at the box and I saw the Roman Anthony first mojo and I just kind of was waiting my turn to get to the box. She ended up putting all of those cards back. And so I immediately jumped in and grabbed the Roman Anthony along with a couple of other first Bowman mojos at $1 a piece. Absolutely a fantastic deal, especially considering all the hype right now around Roman Anthony. Also picked up the Colson Montgomery first mojo, along with the Justin Crawford first mojo. Uh, and the other card I picked up was the Cam Collier first mojo. Four first mojos for $4. Absolute bargain. Very, very happy about uh, that box. It's basically selling for between 20 and 4 Yes, sir. Between the Stroud and the Bryce Dow, yeah. 25 and the Phoenix Dow. So the last section that we went to probably should have been one of the first sections we, we stopped at. Uh, it was actually a very interesting uh, setup. I started in the like value boxes that were like one, th uh, three, two, three, five, and then priced as marked. I should have started in the dollar section first. There was a guy next to me that looks like he cleaned up at the dollar section before me. Uh, it was there was a lot of good cards in here. The problem was trying to find the cards that I really liked at the prices that I really liked. But same purpose. Go ahead. If I put together like a lot, you could I'll work with him. Okay. But the guy said if I put together a lot, he would work with me. So uh, one of the first cards we put aside was a Colton Kowser Shimmer. Um, then we had found some uh, some Jace Youngs, which was really co uh, cool cards to pick up. Um, I appreciate the organization so much. You have no idea. As somebody who digs through boxes. Yep. It makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> Did pick up that uh, Garrett Mitchell right there. I'm always picking up color Garrett Mitchells. I think he's very undervalued. But this first Bowman Refractor Encarnacion Strand was an absolute bargain. Uh, definitely very happy about that. One of the guys I've always been really high on, and uh, he performed pretty well when he got called up last year. So we picked up that Christian Encarnacion Strand first Bowman Refractor. Here's uh, Yasser Mercedes, another guy from the Twins I really like a lot. 
Um, you know, the Twins have a lot of really good prospects when it comes to uh, baseball cards right now between Brian Acuna, Yasser Mercedes, Emmanuel Rodriguez, Brooks Lee, um, you know, just to name a few. Those are some of the guys that I'm always picking up. Here we pick up a Roderick Arias on the Bowman uh, Black and White Ray Wave out of draft. They didn't make those anymore um, in this year's draft, but I always like those cards, so I picked them up whenever there's a good player and a good uh, bargain price for me. Now we're going through the Seattle Mariners, and usually you can find some good cards in there. Uh, there was some really nice ones, including this Jonathan Classe uh, numbered card out of Bowman Inception. Jonathan Classe is a guy that I'm really high on, power speed guy. A lot of his power just came in during last season, but I always pick up his cards when I find uh, ones that I like at uh, good prices. Probably should have picked up some more of those Julio Rodriguez rookie cards as well. Um, I, I'm kind of starting to pick up more Julio's again. I feel like his market is going to go back up once he starts playing again. Uh, this is a, I think it was a Joshua Baez to 99. Really like that Mason win, but it was a little bit out of my price range. We got to go three, five, eight, and two. Now we're into the Nationals section, looking at some Brady houses. A lot of the, this Kate Cavalli card was very, very cool. I think he's going to have a good year. So I picked up that Kate Cavalli. Um, I think in the next stack, we actually find one of my sleeper prospects for the Nationals. Um, that is Armando Cruz. Uh, that was a Mojo Auto. So I picked that up as well. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, let's go. The other pot. <laughs> and this whole box is dollar, right? Yeah, this box is dollar. We gotta get out of here. What are you looking for? And then that's like the little basketball that we have, and then either collegiate or minor leagues. Uh, which is prices more. Okay. Okay. We're into the dollar section, which makes things a little bit easier to kind of grab cards that I'm really interested in. I don't really have to think about checking the pricing at all. Uh, I think we picked up a Jordan Lawler shimmer right off the jump. Uh, then we grabbed this Enrique Bradfield first Bowman Chrome Refractor for a dollar. Just made sense to me. Uh, when cards are a dollar, there's certain guys that you just you're gonna grab at a dollar. They might not be like huge money makers Game immediately, but down the road they can prove to be like that. Jason Churio. How about a Chase Delato Green, number to three ninety nine. Out of five. Yeah, I mean, auto patch out of five. Now we're in the Rockies section. We're picking up Adele Amadors. We're picking up this Ryan Ritter first sky blue. Uh, Benny Montgomery numbered. You know, like stuff like that just is a no-brainer at $1. Um, love to see stuff like that in the dollar box. And then uh, moving forward, uh, there we go. Some Emmanuel Rodriguez at a dollar. Can't pass that up, obviously. We just talked about him as a prospect. Uh, if you can find Royce Lewis stuff in the twin section and dog boxes, pick that stuff up too for sure. Uh, this was the only James Wood we found in Bowman Invicta, so we grabbed that. We're grabbing anything and everything James Wood right now. Uh, we have been for quite some time now, if you've watched some of our previous videos. Uh, here we picked up uh, Averson Artiega. I think that was numbered to 99. Um, I probably I thought about grabbing some more of those vintage cards as well, but we we're going to check out, and he's going to hook us up with a great deal. We were definitely super excited about the cards that we picked up at this booth. So these are all one. These are all marked, I believe. So whatever you could do for me, I trust you. I appreciate it. Oh, my neck is getting to that. 
40? Is that working? I didn't even count, so, I, so I, I trust you. 47 You're... would be where we would be at, seven dollars off. So. I appreciate you, sir. Yep. And I do not have a bag. I'm no, sorry. you're good. I carry your boxes and team bags gotcha. with me at all times. Thank you very much, sir. All right, man. I appreciate you. Once again. <laughs> thank you. Glad I made it makes easy. my life a lot easier. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Over the Years Sports. We are back from the card show. Uh, we went to the Mid-Atlantic Sports Card Show in Silver Spring, Maryland. Uh, I will tell you that there was an absolutely insane amount of people there. Um, it was, it did feel a little bit more football and basketball heavy as opposed to baseball, which makes sense a lot of times, especially in, um, you know, heavy, heavy populated areas like the DC area. So definitely very, uh, football and basketball heavy, but we did manage to get a, oh. Nice little stack of cards. I think we got, oh, I already forgot how many cards it is total. I'll put it up on the screen how many cards we got total. But we did come in, I do remember we did come in at a $1.53 per card cost. Um, for those of you that are new here, we generally try to, we take our stack of cards that we picked while we were bargain uh, boxing and we just divide it by the amount of money that we spent, and then we get an average cost per card. That's how we uh, calculate things. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys and gals what we picked up, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of nice, a lot of nice cards. Really good cards at really cheap prices. That's what we like to do here at Over the Years Sports. Let's dig into what we picked up at the show. All right, so we're going to start off with all of the Bowman color that we picked up. Um, if there's any um, price uh, uh, comps that we think you guys should uh, be aware of, we'll put those up on, excuse me, up on the screen. Remember, a lot of these baseball guys we're picking up in at cheaper prices right now. So a lot of the, the comps are going to look lower because it is off-season pricing. But we're picking these up now. Uh, since we are a couple of months away from opening day and spring training and all that stuff, you'll see the prices of baseball cards start to go up a little bit. So these are all the Bowman uh, numbered stuff we picked up. Uh, I've always been high on Yokenzi Noel. Uh, I just think he's a really good prospect. So not like, you know, like a top, top, top tier prospect, but his numbers have always been good for me. This is numbered out of 75 uh, I mean, listen, and this is our obviously a little bit older stats, but in 2021, he batted 340, 19 home runs, 66 RBIs in 70 games. So definitely has um, some good power ability. Uh, this is a really nice card, like I said, out of 75. Uh, Shalin Polanco. That is a Bowman Inception out of 75. Uh, West Cath. This is Bowman Heritage out of 99. Marco Luciano, I think this is uh, going to be finally be the year we get to see more of Marco Luciano. That's uh, out of 2020 Bowman, number to 250. How about a Jace Young, heir apparent, that is numbered to 99. Jackson Job, another guy a lot of people have kind of been asking for lately. A uh, nice little yellow lava, that is numbered to 75 as well. Another Jace Young numbered card out of 250. Garrett Mitchell, expecting a big year for from him. That is numbered out of 250. Then we got Yasser, little Yasser Mercedes, numbered out of 250. Kate Cavalli, I've always been really high on him as a pitching prospect. I think he's going to have a big year. He's coming off of a injury last year. So I think he's going to be ready for the beginning of the season. I'm not sure. I need to check in on that. That's something I should probably research. But at the price point, out of 75, couldn't pass it up. Uh, Joshua Baez out of 99. Jonathan Classe, who I'm very high on, uh, added power to his speed last year. This is out of Bowman Inception, numbered out of 75. Uh, Adele Amador, who is flying up the rankings right now. A lot of hype around him. I've been buying him for a while now. That is numbered out of 299. Chase DeLauder, uh injured in the beginning of last season out of the draft, um, but really came on strong towards the uh, back end of the year when he came back and played for a little bit. Uh, this is paper, but his stuff is not easy to come by, especially uh, cheap. 
This is numbered to 399. And we got a couple of Brett Beatty golds. How about two Brett Beatty golds out of 50? This is out of 2019. 2019 Bowman's best uh, gold to 50. And then franchise favorites also numbered to 50. Then we got a Benny Montgomery pink shimmer. Uh, I've been I've been buying Yuri Bell Angeles for a while now. Started out with the Padres. He's in the athletics organization. Uh, I I really am a big fan of this this uh, parallel to love this vapor. Uh, that's numbered to one twenty five. Averson Artiega had a tough year last year, but I still think he's a good prospect for the San Francisco Giants. And this was out of ninety nine. Seiya Suzuki. Uh, usually a lot of Cubs fans like Seiya Suzuki. Cheap buy. You know, this was like a dollar card, and it was numbered to two ninety nine. Hernize, I'm really high on. Obviously, he is now in the Oakland Athletics organization, but a first gold shimmer to 50. Uh, could not pass that up at the price I got it at. And, of course, Colton Kowser, uh, one of the top prospects for the Baltimore Orioles. Had a tough go at it when he got called up last year, but still one of the top prospects according to Major League Baseball. Uh, that is numbered to 150. So those are all the Bowman numbered stuff. Now we'll get into some autos that we picked up. Uh -uh. Once again, $1 auto, Jimmy Crooks, uh, prospect for the St. Louis Cardinals. That's number to 99. Warming Bernabelle, another uh, Rockies prospect I'm pretty high on. That's a uh, Mega Box Auto Mojo. Armando Cruz is a sneaky prospect, I think, for the Nationals. His stuff is pretty uh, cheap. So I picked up this uh, auto. He also looks like my little cousin, which is kind of hilarious. So <laughs> Armando Cruz auto, another mega box auto. Kyle M Mueller, uh, $1 rookie card auto on Cars Stadium Club. Couldn't pass it up. Another dollar auto was Kiebert Ruiz, number to 99, patch auto out of triple threads. Uh, that is player warm. And then Colson Montgomery, I know this is Leaf and unlicensed, but I mean... I'm buying Colson Montgomery all I can, uh, and this was only a dollar. Colson Montgomery auto number to 99, so I picked that up as well. So those are all the autos we picked up. And then some uh, non-numbered uh, parallels we picked up. Jason Churio on the Speckle, Jordan Lawler on the Shimmer, Colton Kowser on the Shimmer, Jace Young on the Atomic, Roderick Arias on the Ray Wave. They don't make these in the la the latest draft, so I, I think that I, I'm trying to pick up a lot of the Ray Waves when I see them. Jordan Walker, 21, Bowman Sky Blue, uh, Zach Fien, Ray Wave, Orelvis Martinez, super high on this kid for the Blue Jays, Ray Wave. Harry Ford, another prospect I'm really high on, uh, Shimmer. Emmanuel Rodriguez, another good young prospect on the Atomic. The only James Wood I was able to find, uh, I live in D.C., so a lot of the James Wood, the Nationals and Orioles stuff was super expensive. Uh, James Wood on the Bowman Invicta. Uh, some Sapphires we picked up. Blaze Jordan, uh, Oscar Colas, rookie card, Sapphire. Oscar Gonzalez, rookie card, Sapphire. And a 21 Bowman Chrome, Corbin Carroll, Sapphire as well. And then we picked up... Some other cool stuff, some first Bowman refractors. How about an Enrique Bradfield Jr. first refractor? I picked up I picked up a couple of these. I thought I picked up. Yeah, there we go. Picked up a couple of Encarnacion Strand first uh, Bowman Chrome refractors. Ryan Ritter on the first Sky Blue. Some first Mojos, Justin Crawford, Cam Collier, Roman Anthony. His stuff is on fire right now. Uh, Julio Correas on the black and white mini diamond first Bowman, another young prospect for the Rockies. Tyler Black, he's super high on everybody's list right now, first Bowman refractor. Picked up an Evan Carter, first Bowman chrome. Josh Young, uh, refractor on the rookie debut. And a Casey Schmidt rookie debut, numbered to 299. And then some... Other cards, some old school stuff. I always love this Frank Thomas uh, leaf with the film still on it. So I picked that up. I thought this Hank Aaron was pretty cool. Uh, out of Topps Chrome. I forget what year this was. 2009 maybe they put this out. And then if you guys don't know, I'm always picking up metal cards when I find them in the wild for cheap. Uh, Edgar Martinez on the metal and a Frank Thomas on the metal universe. 
Some football cards. <laughs> I picked up this Justin Herbert number to 35 for one dollar. It's got a little bit of a soft corner up there, but I mean, out of 35 Herbert for a dollar. Brandon Ayuk uh, playing in the Super Bowl, so I'll list that right before the Super Bowl. Brandon Ayuk on the pink camo mosaic rookie card. A couple soccer cards, a Tiago Mota uh, mosaic autograph. Um, I picked up this uh, Danielle Malin night vision. The night visions are so sick. Um, and that's numbered five out of 225. And I picked up this one. This is out of Chronicles, I believe. Certified Chronicles, right? Yeah, Chronicles. Um, it was numbered to 16 and it was a dollar. So I was like, all right, why not? Pick it up for a dollar. Number to 16. Can't go wrong. So those are all the cards that we picked up at the Silver Spring Sports Card Show, um, the Mid Atlantic Sports Card Show. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.